Hi you guys, I'm here to show you guys how I did my crochet rig using the braiding cap. And these are the tools that I used. One, the crochet, the corner row cap. This thing is awesome, I love it. This is pretty much how the package look. I bought it from my local beauty store. Um, there's also other stuff. So for those that love making wigs, this is perfect for you. Um, it comes with four pins inside clip-ons, which I use because I made a wig. Um, and this is, as you can see, it's very airy. There's air that will go through. Your scalp is breathing. It's very stretchy. You have adjustable stripe, which is awesome. And there is, like I said, there's. It's made of mesh, so your hair is not like suffocating. Yes. And this is how it looks when you put it in the mannequin. This is the front, the back. The second tool that you will need is a mannequin head, obviously. Uh, I will put a video below on how to customize your mannequin head to shape like your own individual head. Um, yeah, I will make sure that link is below for you. The next thing you will need is a crochet hook, a scissor, a mannequin head, but you don't necessarily need this, but I just like using it. And this, these pins just to secure your cap so that it doesn't shift while you're doing your hair. Um, this is pretty much how it looks when you're done. You see it's secure, it's not shifting. Um, I actually got this from a sewing kit. You could get this kit from Dollar Store. Now about the hair, I use Golden Queen Soft and Natural. I use three color number one B three color number one and the name of the style of the hair is Jamaican braid and this is how the package looks this texture reminds me of a kinky hair like literally 4a 4b less this reminds me really of that they have instructions on how to maintain it if you don't want to keep this big package you could just keep the small one which is inside the package on how to maintain the hair now I think the length of the hair it was about 20 inch I will correct myself if I'm wrong um, I should have actually cut it into four pieces because I ending up actually cutting it towards the end I just cut it in two to start now because these braid pattern are so in do not put your hook under the braid put it through the braid just to avoid from ripping your cap and also for damaging the braiding pattern here I'm just demonstrating how to pretty much do the crochet braid I'm pretty sure it's straightforward you just put the hook through you put it through the braid and voila okay this that was a little bit too fast I'm gonna slow it down for you hold on keep me a second next one okay so you put the hook through the braid you open the hook, you put the braid through it, bring it through, open the braid, put the ends through, pull it, and then separate it. Voila! Now I'm gonna start from the back and move from the front. And this is pretty much how it looks after a while. Now to avoid for your hair to be too poofy, put braids two fingers apart. That's how I did all the way to the top. Okay, now you, you guys you can see there's only two bra braids left before starting the front so I'm going to focus on filling it up and what I'm going to do is actually put the braids one finger apart using the same method that I did in the back. So you put the braid two, through, put the hook through, put the braid to the hook, close it, bring it forward, open, put both ends together, pull, and demonstrating that again so you put the crochet braid through the braid just like that you open the hook make sure the hook is open you take your braid while the hook is open you put the braid through the hook close it bring it through open the hole press the end through 
the last braid in the back as you can see there's a big gap between the front braid and the back so I'm connecting to prevent from that big gap between the braid and I'm starting doing the knot less method from this point until the end so what do you do you put the braid through just like we did before but instead of putting both ends through you just put one which the top one now covers the knot that's between the two braids and voila and that's what I did for the remaining of my braid the reason why I like doing the knot less it's because it allowed me to part however I want just like this now once you're done with the braiding putting you will notice that there's gap between the mesh and you could just go back and fill up the areas that's showing just like I did right here just going back and filling it up I was done at this point but I'm just going back to fill up the areas that kind of was showing just like that and you see I went back again that's mostly on the top was fully covered but you see you just go back and fill up the area once you're done with the braiding pattern and voila this is pretty much the final result at this point I knew that I was gonna cut it because this was too much plus it was tangling um yeah I look like I gave it in. so guys honestly the shorter the medium to short length is more manageable and I feel like it could last longer it actually lasts longer because I've been having this for almost one month now a month and a half actually um, and I'm trying to cut it in front of you guys but it's really hard because I didn't have a mirror and I was just kind of freestyling it it was really hard I tried but I had to go off camera and fix it in front of the mirror uh, for you guys because I almost messed it up so I tried I tried pretty much how it looks after I cut it off the camera and I also put the clip in I just wanted to show you guys how it looked um, I didn't really put the clip in into my head I just placed place it in my head just so you guys could see how the final result looks I leave the front of my hair just so that it I could blend it with the with the wig so it looks really natural that way and that was pretty much it that was the first day how the hair looked because it's a wig so when I come home I just take it off I love head scarf so especially now that I'm back at the gym so I've been wearing head scarf a lot so I don't wear this all the time I mostly wear this on Sunday special occasion uh, most of the time I just have a head scarf because it's still kind of winter in Canada still kind of cold so I can just cover my head uh, for most of the part and in terms of washing it have I washed it yes I washed it with um, vinegar, apple cider, apple cider vinegar. I soaked it into water with apple cider vinegar, and after that was done, I just washed it with conditioner just to remove that scent from the hair. Um, the reason why I washed it with apple cider vinegar because you guys know um, a lot of synthetic hair comes very shiny, which it have like that oil, which could be very harsh for our scalp. So I like to wash it. I think I washed it. I think it was after two to three weeks I washed it. Uh, just to remove that oil and prevent my from it from it from affecting my scalp um after i was done like i said i, I put the conditioner and while it was air drying i just spray my living conditioner which i wear the carol's daughter living conditioner it smells like vanilla it smells like awesome <laughs> it smells so awesome um you guys know synthetic is pretty much kind of like a fabric and you guys know fabric any scent you put you put through it it kind of absorbs it so i made sure that what i was putting not only was in natural but also it would absorb so that the smell could last a lot longer um i didn't put any oil in there because i, I don't want it to break out my face or my scalp so i just since it's a wig i just treat my hair and i just put this on top of it so yeah this will last me a little bit longer um than like doing crochet braid directly into your hair and like I mentioned in the video 
Um, the shorter the hair, the higher chance you have, you have of having it. You have to to have it. The shorter the hair, the higher chance it would last. Uh, I feel like the longer the hair, the harder it is for you to manage. They will shed and most likely tangle with you, ending up throwing it maximum after two weeks. Like I said, I'm going exactly on one month and two weeks now. I'm, go I'm going on two weeks now that I had this hair and it still looks great. Like, it looks great. I could fool anybody with this hair. If they don't know me, they think it's my hair. So, yeah. If you guys like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. Um, I'm going to be back on my regular uploads. If you're new to my uh, channel, welcome. Please subscribe so that you can get notification about my video. I make lifestyle video and faith. If you don't know, I'm a Christian. So I like to kind of touch on everything. Um, but yeah, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Please follow me on my social media accounts. All of it will be below, Snapchat, Instagram, I even have a blog now, so feel free to check that all out. You guys know I share because I care, so please do take care. Bisous! Bisous! Bye!